You've just arrived at the incident. We'll, I'll take you through to the incident and show you exactly what we've got from there. And you've got a visual of where we are. If okay. you'd like to book in attendance. Uh, hello, Control Alpha 618 in attendance. Okay, Joe, we're going into the incident now. Okay, Joe, so we've arrived on scene, you've had your drive in and you've verbalised your thoughts en route to the incident. Now we're actually on scene and having a look at the situation that we've got in front of us. Can you just verbalise your thoughts of what we see? Okay, well, it, it's clearly quite a serious situation. Um, so I am assuming that the carriages are somewhat full with people. Okay, we've got at least six carriages plus the tracks in, in a fairly remote location and access and egress is clearly going to be difficult. So to get, as you can see from the rendezvous point at the top, to get equipment uh, and, and personnel down to site, as well as police and ambulance to get casualties uh, and, and walking wounded away is it, going to be uh, difficult. But there's a number of priorities to start with, obviously. But you've, given, you've outlined the risks and your priorities and the objectives with this incident. Okay. We're going to take you now into the command vehicle where you'll be able to see the initial incident commander and then it'll be your decision whether to take over or not. Okay. Thank okay. You. Okay, Joe, we'll make our way to the, the uh, command unit. There's a representation of a command unit in the vehicle, uh, yeah, which will be at the yeah, rendezvous yeah, point, if you'd like to make your way into uh, okay. that. Thanks very much. Over. The maximum it's going to take is one of our ambulances. Right, okay. Can't get heavy equipment down. Okay. With liaison with the police, what yeah. we're suggesting is that the ambulance or the PD move to this area uh, yeah. and utilise this track just for ambulance access. It's the only access egress for code. You've got um, uh, routes that are coming in, you can come round that okay. way and let the ambulance come round this way Terrific. and that'll be your blue route round Terrific. and that'll all be closed yeah. off. So, so we're in agreement. Heavy rescue and uh, fire service equipment yeah. will rendezvous point here. Yeah. Yeah. Ambulance will rendezvous point there, yeah. and you're going to maintain an, a blue route to that. We'll, we'll keep control. We'll we'll keep control. Yeah. You go in in the ambulance. Yeah, yeah. Try and make an assessment to the carriages. You can cross the train and do not uh, uh, go anywhere near any electric uh, cables or anything. Yeah, understood, boss. I'll brief the teams. We're going to start entering the carriages for full on scene assessment. I'll give you feedback as soon as available, over. <laughs> okay, Joe, the uh, press have asked for a press release to be done. We've got a film crew in there and they're going to give a, a, a film press release and a public message out to the camera. Okay, no problem. Okay. Our area manager, thank you very much Hello. for taking time out for this I'm busy Joe schedule. You are? Uh, I'm Clive Precy from Blue Sky News. Hello, Clive. Clive, just a very quick question before we before we start. Firstly, is this going out live? We're going to do a little recording and then we'll edit it and then put it in probably lunchtime news. Okay, and can I just, before we do it, because obviously it's quite a delicate situation we've got here, what, what type of questions are you going to ask? Uh, look, basically, we just want an update on what the incident and how progress is happening and how many fire engines and firefighters you as this incident goes on. And what advice information could you give those who may have loved ones who are travelling on this train? Okay, uh, if the other people are worried about loved ones that are on the train, uh, the police will be setting up a hotline that they can phone. What I would urge people to do is obviously uh, stay away from the area, don't try and come and find their loved ones as well because that will hinder our operations. But